Hey there fellows, Buddy Spike here. This is McDonald Douglas C-17 Globemaster the third. This C-17 commonly performs tactical and strategic airlift missions and transporting troops and cargo throughout the world. Additional roles include medical evacuation and airdrop duties. It was designed to replace the Lockheed C-141 Starlifter and also fulfill some of the duties of Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, freeing the C-5 fleet for outsized cargo. I converted this aircraft using the Legacy Converter, its link is in the description. In this video, I'll showcase this aircraft and show you what it can do. So, stay tuned for the video, fellas. Alright, let's see what we have here. We have the ailerons working, very good, very good. And we have the elevators working, that's nice. And we have rudder. Okay, we have the stabilizers. Well, if you look closely, the rudders are divided into two pieces and they change differently. That's interesting. I haven't seen that one before. Okay, and uh, we have the engine engine propellers spinning. Very cool. And uh, we have air brakes working. Well, well, well. The, the, the flaps, air brakes just have such a high angle. I haven't seen that in the commercial aircrafts. What else is working? We got we got flaps working. Very nice. Hmm. Okay, that that seems all good. Let's have them at take off position. Let's see what's inside. Oh well, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. The windows don't work, so we won't be able to fly from the inside. And if you check the the button, also don't work. And we have we have thru thrust lever working and we have flaps lever working we have pitch roll and paddles working which is kind of useless because the window is not working and uh, what else what else so we have here oh we have the parking brake working okay hmm i guess it's time to take off and uh, see what this thing can do in the air so i'm gonna throttle up it seems the parking brake's on parking brake off all right we're moving this this plane is just huge. Look at look at those wheels. Oh, it has three lanes of wheels. Oh, I haven't even seen. I, even Antonov does not have that. I guess this this plane is I guess really made for lifting really heavy stuff. By the looks of it, you can actually fit a tank inside. I believe. Okay, increase gonna increase the throttle more because the speed is not increasing at a pace that is required for takeoff. Come on big guy, oh the speed, the speed, I need more speed. This 80 knots ain't gonna do it. Alright guys, I have a strange feeling about this one. I'm not sure I'll be able to take off. The speed is not enough, I wonder why. Okay, gonna, gonna rotate, let's see what happens. Come on, the front wheel is off. Come on. Oh, 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 that's not how we're supposed to go. Okay, okay, eventually, eventually. Wow, did you look at those wheels? Beautiful. I haven't seen such animation for for landing gears. That's some cool stuff. Okay, I, okay, finally it has caught it has got some speed. We are over 170 knots. It's not bad. It seems the beefy aircraft does uh, have acceleration, but it's not at a pace uh, like the other aircrafts. As you can see, we are over 240 knots, and eventually, I believe, we'll reach at speeds at around uh, maybe 3 to 400 knots, which is, which is, I guess, the speed of this aircraft. Well, well, well. You even have wing flex. I guess the wing flex will be easy to see once I have a landing. Maybe I'll try to have a little rough landing to see the wing flex. Okay, flaps up. I actually forgot to do that. And now we have increase of speed. That's that's nice. Well, the aircraft flies well. Let's see how well can we land this thing. This is a huge guy. All right, runway is not far. I should prepare for landing. Landing gear is down. I just love this animation of wheels spinning. That's some crazy animation I haven't seen in any other aircraft. Very interesting stuff. And flaps down to landing position. I guess I gotta use air brakes. We're over 300 knots. 
Yeah, air brakes are necessary. Gonna have to line up real nice to have a proper landing, I would say. Okay, my deceleration was quite good. Quite good. I'm gonna turn off the air brakes here. And do we have wind? I feel like we have we have some crosswinds here. Uh, let's try to have a beautiful, smooth touchdown, shall we? Come on now. I guess a little bit of more air brakes and turn off. Whoa! Ho oh, ho, that's a bounce. That's, that's not nice. Let me try to have a smooth touchdown now. Come on, come on. And, ah, oh, I thought I had it. Oh boy, the runway is going to end any second. Finally, well, finally. And let's see. Oh, we have reverse thrust working. Very nice. Okay. Remember the air brakes and the other brakes. Okay, this plane does not really need a long runway. Considering how huge the aircraft is. You know what? It, since it does not require a huge runway, maybe I could use a shorter runway to test. And by shorter runway, you know what I mean. Well, you gotta try it, fellas. We gotta try it now. Since we have reverse thrust working and the air brakes work very well, I guess if I have an early touchdown, I might be able to stop at that because that's soft and use the ramp to slow me down a little faster than uh, normal runway, I guess. Let's see. We'll think about takeoff later. All right, guys. To be to be honest with you, I don't know how is this gonna go. The plane just looks so big. I don't know how it's gonna go. Let's see. As soon as the wheels touch the tarmac, gotta get that reverse thrust working. Because I believe you cannot, yeah, you cannot have reverse thrust working earlier when you're in the air itself. That would have helped, but that's something plane does not allow. Okay, gonna use the uh, air brakes on and getting ready for reverse thrust. And reverse thrust on and brakes on. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? First try on an aircraft carrier. Oh, look at those bugs. What the hell? Yeah, it seems it seems the runway is a little buggy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try another runway. Let's try the American version of the aircraft carrier and landing gears down. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, speed seems good. I guess I guess I'll have a proper speed when I'm at the touchdown. Okay, okay, we, we are a good speed, people. We are a good speed. I, I have good feelings about this one. Come on, big guy. Oh, this is going well. Reverse thrust engaged. Brakes on. Oh my goodness, no. Oh no. Oh, this is so close. Oh my goodness. If the runway was just a little longer. You see, I have a runway for you which is a little longer, the helicarrier. Pretty sure I'll be able to make it since the runway is, uh, is, is a bit longer than the US aircraft carrier. My speed is good, but my, but my approach angle is not that good. I'm gonna have to adjust and hopefully make it. Seems all good, it seems all good. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the air brakes again. And uh, let's see, oh boy. What? Oh, okay, a, a little buggy there. Okay. okay, okay, you know what? You know what? Yeah, this is a fail. Too bad, too bad. What? Oh, I didn't engage the reverse thrust. Ah, damn it. Once again, landing gears down. Gonna have to smash it on the ground, I guess. That's the only way. My attempt of getting a smooth landing just makes me overshoot the freaking runway okay we have reverse thrust working and wheel brakes working and finally I guess wait a second am I gonna make it oh yes 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 I, I made it <laughs> I made it finally oh boy that, that was a bit stressful the good thing about this runway is that no matter how big the plane is as long as you land the thing you can take off from it just gonna just gonna turn around this big guy Good thing is I have reverse thrust so I can actually move back after I've turned around, you know, and set myself in the center. Alright, moving back. Reverse thrust is coming in very handy in this situation. 
I'm gonna use the runway as much as I have. See if I if I actually get a lift off or the plane falls down. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let me know in the comments below guys, what do you think of this big guy landing on the helicarrier? Okay, I got parking brakes on, spooling up to about 30%, 40%, and let it spool up, and then I'm gonna release brakes now. Increasing throttle, and hopefully have a beautiful landing. I think flaps to 50% should be good. Okay, I feel like I'm barely gonna reach 100 knots when I reach the end, which is no problem at all. Oh, the plane did fall down. Yep, it, it fell down. But we're good. Landing gears up. Flaps up. So guys, what do you think of this Globemaster, the third? It was a massive aircraft, but a really beautiful looking. It was a pleasure showcasing this aircraft to you guys. Let me know what you think about this, and if you subscribe to my channel, do let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Buddy Spike.